Hi, I'm Dr. Lori Kirschenbaum, and I'm delighted to be the uh, chair of the Outstanding Early Career Investigator uh, Finalist Award a competition for the BCVS meeting here in New Orleans. Uh, on my left is Dr. Kun Ha Song, uh, who was one of the finalists, and uh, he's going to tell us about his work, uh, high efficiency reprogramming of fibroblasts into cardiac myocytes. Uh, that require suppression of profibrotic signaling. Very exciting work, Dr. Song. Thank you. So um, uh, our work is focused on how to efficient uh, conversion fibroblasts into functional cardiomyocyte. So working in my lab recently, we found uh, after we inhibit uh, profibrotic signaling pathway in fibroblast, we can efficiently uh, generate cardiomyocyte from uh, fibroblast. That's very exciting. Yeah, thank There's you. quite a bit of interest nowadays on reprogramming and regenerating mm -hmm. uh, cardiac tissue for treating heart failure and, and myocardial infarction. Tell me a little bit more about uh, how you got involved and, and some of the exciting uh, aspects of your of your science. Okay, so uh, I think the first reason I was involved in this is we back to 1986, so Dr. Weidrop and the colleagues from successfully induced a skeletal myocyte from fibroblasts by overexpression, a single skeletal muscle transcription factor, MILD. So since that, many uh, scientists in cardiovascular field or uh, cardiac biology field trying to find the cardiac D to convert a fibroblast into functional cardiomyocyte. One reason is if we can do that, this will, would prov provide a very good platform to study cardiomyogenesis in vitro. Because since uh, Dr. Woodrop's work, many laboratory, including my former laboratory, Dr. Olsen's lab, use this system to identify uh, some key transcription factor involved in a scalar muscle myogenesis. So that's the first reason. The second reason is, uh, uh, you know, cardiac uh, human adult mouse, adult heart has a limit uh, regenerative capacity. So we hope uh, try to find the other resource to from non fibroblast to regenerate uh, functional cardiac myocyte. Hopefully in future we could use this strategy to repair the damaged heart. That's terrific. Yeah, it's very, very exciting yeah. work. And in fact, uh, this concept of uh, reprogramming cells to improve cardiac function mm -hmm. is uh, is really quite uh, innovative. So uh, congratulations on yeah. your uh, exciting work. And uh, yeah, thank congratulations you. on being a finalist. Uh, yeah, thanks. Good luck tomorrow. Oh, thanks.